Welcome back to Penguin Teen TV for a very special The Fault in Our Stars episode. It is the Marathon Challenge. The Marathon Challenge in which we, in opening weekend, attempt to see, attempt, because we don't know if it's successful, we haven't done it yet, attempt to see The Fault in Our Stars in every major city within one weekend. Yes, Canberra, we're sorry. Yes, Darwin, we're sorry. Yes, Cairns, Newcastle, we're sorry. We couldn't get to you. I'm sorry, I be trying so hard. But flight schedules and times and dates and all these funny things played into it. That's right, we are officially out there on the road. We are uh, in the airport lounge waiting for our first leg. So I'm feeling good, I'm really fresh. And I'm confident, I feel like it's gonna be done. It's easy, it's gonna be cakewalk, right? Woohoo, Perth, we are in you. Hey Brisbane, we're here, there's people here. Sydney, we're in you, yay, we made it. Woo, Hobart, we have arrived, I'm here, it's getting tough. Woo, Melbourne, we're here. Adelaide, we made it, the final city. That is really familiar, I've done that five times this weekend. We're feeling extra good because we get into the cab and it's a fancy, super fancy. Check it out. We can't really check it out from the outside. Like it's a super fancy London cab. We've arrived and we get to a lovely table and look, it's got all its fancy stuff. Look at it. Oh, except no posters. Not panicking yet. Got time. I, I think the courier's out there. I believe the courier's out there. Worst case scenario, I'm hoping the people of Perth will forgive us. It was quite an experience. We had a great crowd. They laughed and then they cried. And we really cried, like super cried. So I've just arrived from Perth on a long overnight, late night flight. Arriving, as you can see, it's still dark in Brisbane. It's still very early, so I'm a little bit weary. I uh, just gone, ducked into the lounge to brush my teeth because I could do that, which was exciting. And just I think as you know, you start to go, oh my god, the tiredness is, is creeping in. I rock up and they've got a pancake maker. Like an actual pancake maker. Score! Just taking the little victories while I can. Yay! Enjoy your pancakes. Okay, it's gotten serious now. It's uh, just, I've literally run out of the Brisbane screening. Wave goodbye to everyone who was in tears. Sent them off to the pizza party at the Brisbane City Library and jumped in a cab. We raced here like it was the amazing race to get to Sydney. I have made the flight by about three minutes. Um, we have also stepped it up a gear. I am now going the nondescript, not, not sponsored, nondescript energy drink. It's, yeah, it's gut check time. It's getting serious, but we can continue the, uh, the marathon challenge because it's, what is a challenge without an actual challenge? It's time to get, yeah. So it's gonna, the long day continues. It's day three of the Fault in Our Stars Marathon Challenge and as you can see the voice is going but the spirit is strong. Sydney was so much fun last night. Everyone was so enthusiastic and cheering and laughing and which is awesome. It was awesome. So it's been four cities in three days. Um, starting to question my life choices. Day three, six flight. More planes than cars. I'm questioning that decision. It's great seeing the film with everybody. Yay. <laughs> Give me the strength, I can do this. I can make it through. Two more cities to go. Can we get a high for Penguin Teen TV, please? <laughs> you all look so pretty. I'm very excited because this is the last leg of the Fault in Our Stars Marathon Challenge. Finish the Fault in Our Stars Marathon Challenge. Yes. But making my way home with, thankfully to you guys, the number one film in the Australian box office. What? Yeah. But thank you so much for going out and seeing it. It was such a pleasure to see it with all of you across the country. You laughed, you cried, cried again, did some more, lots of crying. But basically, it was such a great pleasure and thrill to see it with fans of the book, fans of YA reading. And thank you for all of your support and your tweets and your photos and your tear catch tissue boxes, which were unbelievable, I've got to say. And your dressing up. 
And that was the marathon challenge. We haven't even done it and I'm already exhausted thinking. After six cities, after traveling for over 17 hours on a plane, there's only one way to finish this out. It's an airport happy dance. Spotted today's t-shirt is a little bit of a spoiler for people who haven't seen the film. So we start off here. I decide we're living in a world. Fair, so far nothing spoilery. Big spoiler, big spoiler, I'm sorry. Today's t-shirt. Old school. I have to do it one-handed because my other hand's on the camera and that would be weird to drop.